Good day students um, and welcome to the video on binary arithmetic. Yeah, let's dive straight in. So uh, we're going to be breaking down binary arithmetic into four basic categories. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, so we start with addition because it's the easiast one. So um, Binary addition is very much like normal addition, but only we only use ones and zeros. And then we have four basic rules of binary addition. Zero adding zero equals zero. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. Um, now, you might think these are the same. In this case, they are. But in other arithmetic operations, there will be a difference. So just be aware of the order with which you do binary arithmetic it's very important and 1 plus 1 equals 1 0 or 0 with a carry of 1 this will become clearer when we do a uh, addition sum okay so let's take an example uh, 1 0 in the binary notation and we're adding 1 1 also in the binary notation so first off we write them down as normal and then, then we um, start by adding up the least significant bits. So 0 and 1, as we have in our rules, is equal to 1. There is no carry, so we can move on to the next bit. Uh, which is a 1 and a 1. Um, we add them, and 1 plus 1 is 0 plus a carry of 1. So we write down 0 and plus a carry of 1, which becomes 1, 0, 1. So now let's try bigger binary numbers. Uh, let's try 1101 plus 112, both in binary notation. So we write it down as usual. And then we start with the least significant bit. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. So then we write the carry 1 on top there, as you would do with normal decimal addition. Uh, then we move on. So now we have 1 plus 1 equals 0 with another carry of 1. So there we have the carry. So moving on, uh, we now have 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equals to 1 with a carry of 1. Remember, we have 1 extra 1. We write the carry there. And then the last bit is we add 1 and 1 which remind you is 0 with a carry of 1 so the answer is 1 0 1 0 0 and now the binary subtraction the four rules for binary subtraction is 0 1 is 0 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 0 equals 1 and now we have 1, 0, minus 1 equals 1 with a borrow of 1. And this will become more clearer later. Now, let us go for the binary arithmetic example. We have 1, 1, 1, uh, minus 1, 0 in binary notation. So once again, we write it down and we subtract the least significant bit. So we have 1 minus 0 which is 1. And now we have 1 minus 1, which is 0. And then bring the 1 down, so we have 1, 0, 1. Now moving on to a more complicated example. Let's subtract 1, 1, 1 from 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary notation. So we write it down like this. And we solve the least of a bit. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we write it down as 0. But now, 0 minus 1, we can't do. So we have to borrow a bit from the following uh, bit. So as we do in decimal, you cross it out. You write a 0. You carry over the borrowed bit. So now we have uh, 1 minus one zero minus 1, which is 1. So yeah, so 1, 0, minus 1 is 1. Remember our rules. And then now we have 0, minus 1. So we have to borrow another bit. 
from in this case the most new bit which becomes zero and we have a one there so it's one zero minus one it's one and that is the last of it so in this case um, we subtracted this one one zero one from uh, one 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 from one one zero one and this is our answer now it's always good for me I like checking my answers so I will convert the numbers to decimal do subtraction and then see if what I have done was correct so uh, 1101 is equals to the decimal number 13 111 is equal to the decimal number 7 so 13 minus 7 equals 6 and the 110 is equal to the decimal number 6 so we have done this correctly so binary multiplication has a trick to it, but if you can do binary addition, then you can understand how this works too. It's easy to explain by using an example. So let's multiply 110 in binary by 11 also in binary. So let's write them down. Um, we take the least significant bit of what we're multiplying with, and we multiply that with the top number. So we have 110, we write it down. Then we move to the second number. We do the exact same thing. And we write the result down, but we shift it up one position. So we leave that blank. And now, with the shifted space, if we've done all these numbers, multiplied all these numbers with them, we add these two numbers. So you have 10010. Zero, zero, zero. Um, and then, yeah. So this shifted off place just enables this number to go right down and then you add them up as normal. And that is the answer that you want. So once again, we can check. So 1, 1 is equals to 6. Uh, 1, 1, 0 is equal to 6 and 1, 1 is equal to 3. Multiply it out, you get 18 and this number is equal to the decimal number 18. Now for a more difficult example. So you have 1001 by 101. Not so difficult. We start by multiplying the least significant bit by the top number and we write it down. Do the second one as well, but because it's zero, we can just write zero. And the last number is also one, so we write on 111 and we shift up. It's very important to write the zeros because that indicates to make it easy to see where you have shifted it up. So we add all these numbers and we get to our final answer. Checking uh, the top number 1001 is equal to 9 and 101 is equal to 5. Multiply them and we get 45. So 101101 is equal to 45 in decimal. So we've done our work correctly. It's also helpful to check, and check by yourself if this is being done correctly. So binary division is very similar to decimal division. You see we use the same kind of rules. And now we take an example and it's we are dividing 1010 zero, zero by 10. So um, with the dividing of binary arithmetic, here we have uh, what we call the dividend and the divisor. So we see where the divisor can be divided into the dividend. And we see here one zero, so one zero goes into one zero once. One time one zero, one zero, and then you um, subtract and you get zero. Bring down this one. So one zero divided by one zero is zero. So you multiply zero and here you have zero. You subtract, which is still one, but now we can bring down this lovely zero. So we have one zero. And then one zero goes into one zero one time. And multiplying this out, and then we have our answer. Now this is confusing, but you have to just do examples and get um, good with doing long division. So now we move on to a slightly more difficult task, which is dividing binary numbers with a fraction. But the trick here is that you shift the divisor until it becomes a whole number. So for instance, we have 
one zero point one, we have to shift it one place so the divisor becomes whole. So we shift it once and it becomes one zero one. Now what we've done to the divisor we have also to also do with a dividend. So if we have uh, 1010 as in the study guide, uh, this becomes 10100. Zero, zero, zero. And then we divide these two numbers. So here we have 101. One. So it goes into 101 one, one time. Multiply and we have 101. One. Subtract, we have zeros. Bring down the zero. 101 goes into zero, zero times. Zero times 101 equals to zero. Subtract, we get zero once again. Bring down the zero. 101 goes zero times into zero. Multiply it out, and then there's nothing left. So we stop. So our answer is 100. Zero, zero. But now you must remember the amount of times that we shifted the uh, divisor at the start of the equation. So we shifted it once, we have to now shift it back. So if our answer was one zero zero, we have to shift it back and it becomes one zero. So we can easily check the answer by converting all the binary numbers to decimal. Uh, but remember we used the original numbers. So the original number was one zero point one. And if we convert this, this becomes two point five. Uh one zero one zero uh we convert it and it becomes 10, decimal number 10. So we have to divide 10 divided by 2.5 and the answer is 4. Now 4 in decimal terms is equal to 1, 0 in binary. So here we have proved that we do, uh, that the sum was done correctly. Um, this is just, this is confusing and you do have to practice to get good at it. Um, but the good thing is you can always check your answer when you're practicing at home by converting it back to decimal and then doing the multiplication or division or whatever arithmetic op operation that way to see if your answer is correct. And yeah, good luck.